Guys, it's Miss Simpson, and it is time for social studies today. Today, we are actually going to be talking about Higgins and Spindle Top. So, this week, we have talked about the Native American reservations um, when they were forced and they were moved to reservations, how the buffalo were dying out. And we've also talked about last week the railroads and how those became very common, I guess you could say, in Texas. Those were beginning to boom. But something even bigger than the railroads that happened in Texas was oil. Oil was also called Texas tea, and it was also called black gold because of how um, great of a thing it was for um, entrepreneurs in Texas. They were finding ways to make all this money from oil. So let's go ahead and let's talk about it. So I'm going to talk to you about spindle top. So Patillo Higgins, he was a real estate developer, lived in Beaumont. He saw signs of oil at a place called spindle top. Unfortunately, they were unsuccessful at first because they didn't have the right tool. So they found oil and they were trying to get this oil out. Oil is something that we use all of the time. So if they could get this oil, it was going to really help them. They were going to make a lot of money off of it. So they didn't have the right tools, but they brought a mining expert. His name was Anthony Lucas to continue the drilling. They began drilling in October of 1900, but they had found nothing until January of 1901. So it took them about, oh gosh, that's a long time. October, November, December, January, four months, maybe three or four months to find the oil. Then in January, a gusher spewed over a hundred feet in the air. It went and blew in the air. The good news of him, of um, Higgins finding oil, traveled super fast and Beaumont became the first boom town. A boom town is actually a community that grows very quickly. There's oil there. There's possibilities of making money. There's jobs there. So it became a boom town. So oil is actually used to make petroleum products. Petroleum products include, and I'm sure that you recognize some of these, or actually have some in your house right now, ink, bicycle tires, car dashboards, umbrellas, rope, shampoo, yarn, sweaters, fuel, antihistamines, and many, 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 many other things. There are so many things that we need oil for in order to make that those things. So what would you feel like if you didn't have shampoo? You would have nasty, stinky, gross hair. So we need oil. And they it became a boom town because they found this oil. Oil was also important to a very brand new invention, and guess what it was? The engine. So the engine was, um, engines move parts in machines, and that's used in cars, planes, factory machines, and any, many others. So basically anything that you drive, anything you fly, it has an engine, like a four-wheeler or a golf car, those all have engines, and that, that engines help move those parts. Engines need oil to stay lubricated and keep them from overheating. So in order for us to have cars and planes and machines, we have to have engines. Therefore, we have to have oil. So um, that is all that I have to tell you about Higgins and Spindletop. You just need to know that Spindletop is the very first place that we had found oil, where we had a big gusher in Beaumont, and also that Higgins is the one who had found that oil. All right, so you should have watched. It's about a 12-minute video right up above. It's a lot more about Higgins, spindle top, oil, all of those things to give you some information. I am not going to assign you anything today because yesterday I made you read a ton of social studies pages, which I'm sure you loved. And tomorrow you're going to read, uh, tomorrow on Thursday, you're actually going to read more social studies pages. So I do not have an assignment for you today. All right. I love you all so much. Have a great day.